In this video, I am going to be talking about Kubernetes taints and tolerations. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to jump straight into my demo and I'm going to explain this concept. Sit back, sit back, sit back, relax and grab a cup of coffee and uh, let's try to understand this concept. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a pod using my kubectl run command and the name of the pod is going to be busybox1 based on busybox image. If you're not familiar with this image, it's just a simple image that's based on Alpine Linux, I believe. So we're just going to create this pod. Uh, and as soon as the pod gets created, this particular command will run inside the container which is in the pod. Okay, so that's not so important actually. But what is important is basically where this pod is scheduled. What I mean by that is, so if you do a get pods command and a wide output, it shows you where your pod is running. So in my Kubernetes cluster, I have a master node and two worker nodes, right? So my pods are usually scheduled on these worker nodes and there is a reason for that and we'll come back to that later. But basically my, this particular pod, when I created it, Kubernetes took a decision to schedule or to place this pod in node 2 okay and what if I can actually manage or control which pods can be placed on which nodes okay and one example that I can think of is this right so let's say I'm going to say only pods that are based on Nginx web server should be placed on node 1 and pods which are based on the Apache HTTPD web server can be placed on node 2 okay so what I've done here is I've basically tainted my nodes like I've reconfigured my nodes in a way that um, that actually controls how the pods are scheduled by Kubernetes, right? So in my taint command, I'm saying, okay, this is the node name and this is the key value pair, right? For, this is the key and this is the value and, you know, this is the operator, right? Equal to operator and there is a colon and this is what uh, what is called as taint effect okay and there are three possible values for taint effect one is no schedule another is no execute and uh, and the other one is prefer no scheduled okay so if you go to kubernetes documentation you, you know if you look at the taint command uh, in this link over here you'll basically you know get all these uh, values and the syntax and whatnot right so basically we'll come back and see what the each of these uh, basically means but for now the only thing that is important is node 1 is tainted with this key value pair and node 2 is tainted with this key value pair okay now if I just randomly create a pod like let's say busybox2 again based on busybox image and everything else just being the same and let's look at the pod information you will see this particular pod busybox2 is in pending status and it's not scheduled anywhere and the reason for that is we haven't actually specified a toleration configuration for it if there was another node with without any of these taint rules then this pod might have been placed on that node but unfortunately we don't have a free node 
per se okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually attach a toleration for a particular pod okay so I have like a YAML file with for creating pod a particular pod called nginx okay and this pod have is based on nginx image and here in the pod spec section I have a tolerations section and in here if you pay attention we have a key called front end and value called nginx and then the operator called equal okay so if you recollect actually when we tainted our node 1 basically we had the same configuration right key is front end value is nginx and then the effect is no schedule the operator right here is equal to right so that's the operator that we have here so rest is all the same as what you would do normally so so I'm going to create my nginx pod with this tolerate with this tolerations actually right so what I'm going to do is run kubectl create minus f nginx or I can also run apply minus f nginx the yaml file right so the pod is being created and do you have any guesses for where the pod will be created so since we tainted node 1 with the same key value pair as what we what we mentioned in this yaml file i am guessing actually this pod this nginx pod will be placed on node 1 and that is correct right so let me take you into another yaml file called httpd and it's for creating another pod called httpd and again based on httpd httpd image and with this toleration configuration and everything being the same except this value the value is httpd right so if you remember we tainted node 2 with basically this uh, this configuration right and I'm saying this pod tolerates this taint configuration okay so let's go out and run the same create command except this time I want to use the httpd yaml so we have that and let's get the pods information and as you can expect this particular pod is scheduled on node 2 because this pod tolerates this node uh, the tains on this node so that is how you actually control or manage the scheduling of pods okay and busybox 2 is still in the uh, pending state and let's say I want to actually remove the taint on node 2 for example or node 1 it doesn't matter so we want to remove taint on a particular node uh, how can we do that we can just use the same taint command with this uh, taint configuration except this time I'm going to put like a minus at the end so now let's go look at the the pod configuration and you can see that this busybox2 pod is now scheduled on node 1 because I have removed all the tains on uh, this particular node and and if you actually pay attention none of the pods are getting scheduled on node uh, my, con my master node or my control plane node and the reason for which is if you describe the master node and if you grab for taint keyword like this you will get the taint configuration that is currently applied on that particular node so when you do a kubernetes installation 
uh, master node is basically configured with this particular taint so that way actually like only the pods which have this toleration is scheduled on the master node okay so similarly you can actually find the taint configuration on other nodes as well as you know we just removed the taint on node 1 and we still have this particular taint on node 2 okay so let's actually get the pod details again and see how it is going so let's say on node 1 again I want to apply the taint but this time I want to apply uh, the taint with no execute instead of no schedule right so I'm applying the taint again on node 1 and let's see what happens to the pods that are running on node 1 right So you can see that Nginx pod was immediately terminated, right? It was running on node 1 that was immediately terminated and busybox 2 is currently in the terminating state. So that's what happens actually. No execute kind of kicks out the pods which are already running on this node. Uh, the pods that do not have the same toleration uh, toleration as this okay so we have looked at no schedule and no execute so no no prefer schedule or prefer no schedule basically uh, is another value that we can put in the the this place right here for taint effect uh, what this means is basically it will try to not schedule uh, any pods uh, on that particular node but if there is no other way it will schedule our pod on that node actually okay so that's called preferred no schedule so I'm not going to go into that you can actually take that as uh, homework and all right so we have seen basically what this taint means and we have seen how to untaint a node and uh, you know we can use this method to control how pods are scheduled okay this can be very useful all right have fun thank you